It's a great time to read summer's hottest hits, and we're about to share some of our favorites with you. But first, ABC's Abby Boudreau cased the beaches and poolsides of L.A. to get a sampling of what folks are reading right now. A summer reading revolution, from self-help and sci-fi to murder mysteries. We are on a mission, a beach book ambush, to find out some of the hottest reads this summer. But first, a few essentials for our undercover operation. I think these are, uh, huh? Thank you. All right. We gotta blend in. And yes, we need these. And we're ready to hit the beach. Found a girl reading a book. Let's go see what it is. What you reading? The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Oh, how is it? It's good. I'm reading Umber. She's got a cookbook here. Sitting poolside at the Fairmont Miramar Hotel in Santa Monica, it runs the gamut. So let's see what you're reading. Girl in Translation. Yeah, I just started. Hey, did you steal that from the library? Uh, no. And this guy loves his Hemingway. What makes a good summer read? Uh, I like it short, so I can get through it in a couple of days. Still, for me, I prefer to stick with the classics. Well, kinda. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreaux, ABC News, Los Angeles. And we've got a lot of the good summer reads out here right now. I don't know about you, but this is my favorite thing to do, to pick which book I'm going to take on summer vacation. I, I was going back and forth and we've back and forth. We've got a couple of our hits right here. This is Gone Girl, which was the book of the summer last year. Spent uh, 52 weeks, 55 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. It's an amazing book. I'm still recommending it to Every woman in my life has been reading that book. This book, I can't wait to read. It's called The Sun. It's by Philip Meyer. Um, it's about a Texas family from the Comanche raids to the present, 150 years uh, spanning it. He's a writer who sort of harkens to Larry McMurtry and Cormac McCarthy, who yeah. are two of my favorite writers. So I can't wait to read this on vacation. And this is what I'm reading right now. All the ladies in my Collegiate Moms Book Club are reading this and raving about it. It's life after life. It's about a woman who keeps, um, from the moment she's born, she dies, and then she lives. And it's, it's all about how life changes dramatically had she lived or died. And it uh -huh. is, I cannot put this thing down. Well, it one is of the, amazing. One of the books I'm going to recommend has a similar type of theme, but that's the next book I'll talk about. Um, first of all, this one by uh, Halet Husseini, um, which is something I've been wanting to read in the mountains. He did Echo. the Kite Runner. He the did the Kite yeah. Runner, yes, and this book has been uh, debuted at number two on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, this is the one I was talking about, though. I'm a huge fan of time travel. Right. Uh, I just, I'm obsessed with it, and this was recommended to me by the great Amy Robach, so uh, I thought, you know. She said she couldn't put this down. I know, I, I, I know. have this. I'm so the, this the well. idea here is that Stephen King sort of creates this time travel where you can, where they go back to try to prevent the assassination of JFK. Right. Um, and all these, they go back to try and prevent certain crimes, etc. I haven't read it yet. It's a big, thick book, uh, but I am really excited to uh, to try to and by the way, one last recommendation for young adults, or even for adults too, the book Wonder is an amazing kid, a book to read to your kids, and your kids will love it, and you will too. So it's fantastic. I just got done reading that to my boys. It's really good. We got four from Elizabeth. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. And you can get more of our top summer must-reads at goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.